What's bracking guys, welcome to another Road to Glory Hidden Gems video here. I'll be taking a look at uh, players in the Mexican League, and you actually see Crawley Talent uh, is the team I use, uh, of course, using a League 2 budget. All these players, of course, fit underneath that budget uh, very nicely, especially um, this was after, you know, uh, the preseason tournaments and all that, so there's a lot of room, uh, you know, as, money, as far as money goes, but uh, first player really enjoyed using Giovanni Casillas that she was a Guadalajara, very good player. You can bring him in on a two-year loan. I couldn't buy him, unfortunately, um, but either way, you can get in on that two-year loan, and uh, you can see nothing too great, honestly, when he first starts out 60 overall. Uh, I mean, he has a little bit of pace and agility. Dribbling isn't too bad either, uh, so you can see he does have some potential. I definitely would recommend, you know, beat your man, Drew. You know, that will get him up quite a bit, and you'll see uh, left foot and high-low work rates, four-star weak foot, and three-star sumos. I mainly played him at cam, actually. I played him a little bit at left mid, but I preferred him at cam. Um, don't know what it was, but I think it was maybe because he's not as agile. I think he was, because of that, he's a little bit better out on, um, you know, playing at cam, but you can see here uh, ball control dribbling agility of course really went up a lot I worked on a little bit of other areas crossing a little bit um, but nothing too much there but you can see he's up to a 66 overall so at the end that first season so he's at a decent level uh, so if you bring him in on you know on that loan and train him up a little bit he'll look pretty solid over the years and you'll see uh, actually you're 20 20 now up to 70 overall age 26 you can see a lot of good ball control and dribbling and his pace um, has kind of stayed around the same area but either way uh, if you can train his finishing and attack vision a little bit more I think you'll be even higher overall so that's something you may want to think about doing uh, on your own as well but uh, either way I really enjoyed using him you actually see a couple highlights of him he scored a lot of goals and you know he had a really nice goal coming up here and you'll see the against um basically it's against Real Madrid so really nice little move here from him and he's able to finish as well so good work from Casillas and he's uh, he also would score another goal and I could I remember I clearly remember him scoring like one or two more other goals as well he just seemed to be in great in great spots at cam uh, especially so you can see him uh, Rossell actually the next player I'll be showcasing played the ball got the assist on that goal as well and you see Rossell here you when you inquire for him you get four hundred fifty five four hundred fifty thousand dollars um for him you can probably maybe try to get it down a little bit uh he really turned into a solid little uh center mid he was a pretty agile he's a very small player at the say but uh either way uh he turns into a nice little player good pace at the moment uh so if you do kind of overtrain him and all that i it won't hurt him too much which is not pretty good to see um and you take a look at some of his other stats you know ball control dribbling short pass look pretty promising and i did you know kind of focus on those areas uh as well when i did train him a bit um you can see he's five foot six but on the shorter hand but uh, right foot, medium, medium work rates, three star weak foot, two star skumos. So it definitely looks like, you know, a solid little midfielder for, uh, you know, lower league sides here. But 66 overall now at the end of that first season, you can see pretty, you know, well allocated growth is what I did. And you can see ball control dribbling went up a bit, short pass, long pass as well. So his mental stats went up very nicely also, which is good to see. You can see aggression, vision, interception is not in too bad um, of shape at the moment uh, as well. But uh, pace wise, looking pretty solid uh so you can maybe overtrain him a little bit and it won't hurt you too much you can see now 70 overall uh year 2020 age 24 looking pretty solid again um i mean he's gonna be you know probably a good rotational type midfielder uh as you get later on but a really good shout uh if you want to take a look at him wouldn't mind i think he would be might be best you know on the two-year loan you do train him up a little bit because it kind of start to drop off a little bit later on but uh now we move on to another player very solid player ronaldo cisneros from um santos and and he is uh, 650000 if you do put an inquiry for him, as that, that's what they respond with, basically. Again, looks pretty solid here. 62 overall, 18 uh, years old at the moment. Um, fairly, his, his stats are interesting. You know, he's a pretty good finishing for a young player, which is good to see. So you could probably work on that a little bit. I would recommend you trying to get his agility up as well, which I did focus on a bit. He's five foot ten, right foot, medium, medium, two-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. So uh, not the best with weak foot and skill moves, but I do think either way, uh, he's a looks like a pretty solid player to use. Uh, and he, I did use him a little bit, uh, and he, I did enjoy him, especially, you know, as I started training him a little bit more uh, later on in his career. You can see here, 68 overall now, age 19. Um, and you can see I definitely did and improve the agility a bit and a little bit pace here uh, was not bad and finishing is really high again for a young player uh, and ball control drill we don't look too bad either so uh, another guy I really do think he's gonna be great um, for these these lower league sides so I really do recommend him as well we're moving on now to year 2020 uh, you can see 71 overall age 23 attack vision is very high it's very good to see finishing a solid um you kind of capped out around here I, I, kinda, I certainly do think I kind of overtrained him a little bit so of course something you may need to be wary about 
ballots. But either way, he does look like another very solid player here. As we'll be kind of wrapping things up in a little bit. Uh, just believe he have one more player. Uh, we'll see who's coming up next. But uh, Alexis Pena from Club Bachuca. Uh, just so many good young players on their side. Uh, at least uh, they've produced so many good young players, basically. Uh, another guy you do have to bring on a two-year loan. Um, and he turns into a pretty solid player. Uh, you can see some of his stats aren't too bad. He's a good physical physicals as well uh, but you can see it won't really hurt your budget at all if you do decide to bring him in so I definitely do recommend taking a look at him uh, as he does seem to be he, I did enjoy using him. I did use him a lot, basically, because uh, he was one of my center backs uh, in this growth test because I uh, didn't use too many players. He was just a few assorted players from uh, if you'd watch my other videos as well. But uh, 19 years old, 59 overall, and you know not too pacey, uh, okay strength. So you certainly just want to train a lot, you know, with his marking in general. Because I mean, he has a good frame: six foot two, right foot and medium, medium. He's not incredibly slow or anything. He has a little bit of strength, so that's one thing you may not want to overtrain too much because strength but either way I kind of I did I basically overtrained him and you can get his overall up pretty quickly you know marking is up to 67 uh, excuse me overall up to 67 marking up to 74 and tackling is very good as well as interceptions aren't too bad either I uh, just definitely need some improvement in some of his other areas and that's some of the things you know when you kind of do overtrain them and like um, they just aren't too focused in a lot of areas and you see pace I don't think it really went up at all and this is actually year 2020 uh, so I definitely do think I overtrained him unfortunately so you may want to be be wary of that be a bit more careful than uh than I was here so you can try to get some of his growth in his other areas of his game as well but uh another good solid player um I of course Francisco Rivera uh, so he was an, an a guy, you know, if you want to look back at him, another great player for hidden gems, um, another great hidden gem, excuse me, another great player for, uh, you know, these lower league career modes. If you want to take a look at him, I certainly recommend you go back and look at his video, Francisco Rivera. I, I was actually intended on using him just for this video, but he ended up being very good. So uh, I would recommend you uh, take a look at his video as well because he's perfect for these career modes uh, and he exceeded his potential and he turned into a very solid uh, right mid. So with that though, thanks for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I'll be Signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.